Hello everyone, welcome to the session. In this session, we will see how we can use GROC filter in LogStats to parse the unstructured data like any text data, any log data. GROC filter uses the GROC pattern to do the parsing. This is a demo session and the data flow would be like this. We will have one log file from where the file bit will fetch the data and it will send to logstats logstats will apply the grok filter and it would send the output to the console first what we need to do is we need to start the file bit this is the file bit configuration file which we are using from previous sessions let's start the file bit bit you need to launch the file bit in the command prompt and you have to run this command which we already discussed in our many previous videos let's wait for the file bit to be up and running meanwhile we see the logstats configuration file so this is the input type which is the bit so the logstats is getting the data from bit in the output we are using std out means the output of the log stress would be sent to the console filter section and this is the the section which we need to focus in this session so here you can see two filter i have used grok filter and the mutate filter so mutate filter you can ignore this is the grok filter how we can use it so this is the zero keyword you need to use curly braces starting ending match an error and this is the starting end of the curly braces and the message so the, here we need to give that field on which the zero filter would be applied so here I have mentioned the message because the log data which file bit will fetch would be present in the message message field that's why i have men mentioned here the message field and the message field on the message field the zero filter would be applied and then again the arrow and the zero patterns and here we will mention the zero pattern here this is the array and you can see i have mentioned each zero pattern would be enclosed in the inverted comma so you can see this is starting from here and ending here so this is the one zero pattern you can use more than one zero pattern so and then the next zero pattern is starting from here next pattern is starting from here and ending here and the next starting from here and ending here next starting from here ending here so three zero pattern we have used you can use one zero pattern also based on a requirement you can use more than three also so how zero pattern works after log stats receives the data it would check which pattern would able to parse the input data so right now in this example we have three patterns so it would check first pattern it would check first zero pattern if it is able to parse the input data or not if it is not able to pass the input data then log stat would log stats would check the second pattern if second pattern zero pattern is not able to parse the data then it would check the third pattern to see if it is able to parse the data or not if first pattern is able to parse the data then log stats would not check the second pattern it would use the first pattern only to parse that input data and it would convert into structured data suppose you have three patterns looking at the output of the log stats how will you understand which zero pattern has parsed the data if first pattern was able to pass the data you would see the field of first pattern date 
log label data ip if second pattern is able to parse the data then you would see the field name of second pattern date 1 log label 1 same with the third date 2 and data 2 if none of the pattern is able to parse the data input data in that case log is test just print the message in the output and would add the one tag called log parse failure so looking at the that tag you would understand that if the parsing was able to successful or not with these mentioned jiroc patterns it's on requirement you can you can have only one jiroc pattern or you can have more than three also now let's see the output of log is test for these lines so you can see file bit is started log is test also started and it has processed the input data so you would see the four output these these are called events four out of one two three and four and these are the corresponding to four lines. for each line one event is created for each line there would be one output in the log is test that's why you are able to see four outputs let's uh, analyze the output of log is test the first output so what is the message message is this is the message it contains value this so this is the without ip and and so this the first output is against this line now you see what is the output date 2 and data 2 so from this you can understand which Jiroc pattern parse the data. This Jiroc pattern parse the input data. So why first was not able? Because in the third line you don't see the IP address log label. And but in the Jiroc pattern there is a log label one. There is a log label. So why these two patterns were were not able to parse the third line. Let's see the next output is the this. What is the message? So matches message is the field which contains the actual line line data and on this message field only the zero patterns are applied you can see this is the date and log and this so this is the this is the this this is the second line the second line now in the output what is date one date date one data one and log level one looking at the name of the field you can understand which which zero pattern parsed this data this zero pattern parsed the data since the field name is date one log label one and data one i first was not able to parse because the ip address is not present in the line two now let's see the next output is the this so this is the message what is the value this info ip address so this is the first line of the log and what is the output field name you can see log label data date means this was able to part this zero pattern was able to parse the data date log label so this is how you can understand which zero pattern parse the data since first pattern passed the data but log would not check the other pattern now let's see the last out in the message what is present date so this is the fourth line which is able to pass the data in the output what is there is no you can see field added like the previous there is no field added date date one whatever and in the tags you can see one zero parse failure tag means none of the pattern configured here none of the zero patterns configured here were able to parse this line this line that's why this zero zero parse failure tag was added those output will not have this tag which which were parsed by the zero patterns you can see all threes all first threes were passed by the zero pattern so you would not see the any parsing failure tag here you can see this this is some default tag this is how the zero filter works so right now logistics is printing the data printing the output on the console 
So as per the requirement, like if you want to send this data, you want to send this data to the Elasticsearch, then you can here add the Elasticsearch output or any other output, output supported by the log stats. In our previous video of outputs, we have discussed this. One more video I have created on the GROC filter. This is the link. GROC filter and log stats. Please watch this video to understand which all operations can be performed by GROC filter apart from the things which we discuss in this session. One thing I would suggest we have created many videos on ELK stack. You would see like 20, more than 20 plus videos. So those who are not able to understand this concept of ELK stack, those who have first time visited the channel, please go through these videos. These are very not lengthy videos, short videos and it will give you good understanding how the ELK stack works. That's all for this session. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.